Hey, what's up turtles? It's Crick here with Black Eye Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison video on two knives. More Bushcraft Black in here and the more heavy duty companion MG in my left hand right here. And what's sort of what's prompted me to do this video is I've had a few comments, a few people ask me, you know, what, in my opinion, what's a better knife to get? And I just want to sort of do a comparison video. I'm going to run down the specs. I got a piece of paper. I'm going to sit them side by side, talk about them, give my impressions <clears throat> on what's better for what and all that stuff. And I just want to take a quick moment to say all the gear reviews Stoney and I have done so far has been everything we've owned or purchased. And it's gear that we've liked, we've used, and we know that's quality. With the exception of, I think there was two that our, our mutual friend, Uncle Chuggies, has given us to use some of his stuff. But... No manufacturer is giving us anything. We're not putting these up to sort of help sell knives or gear for any company. We're independent. And if you do have questions with any videos, any gear we have, please ask me. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Like I said, we're not trying to sell these for any companies. This is just gear we like, and we're trying to pass on the knowledge of what's good and what's not. So leave comments if you have questions. I know I'm going to forget things in videos. I've already forgotten things. If you have any questions, please leave a comment ask me if you want to purchase something and you have any questions that I may uh, missed or maybe not touched on in, in depth if you know in depth so I'm just gonna get get these down and do a side by side they're both Mora's you know more knives of Sweden bushcraft black here heavy duty companion here so to start off twenty dollars for this forty dollars so the main kind of argument or focus of this is going to be is this bushcraft black worth twice as much as the heavy duty companion you know make that adjust assessment for yourself and I'll give you my uh, my impressions as well starting with the sheath same and uh, you know injection injected molded plastic sheath uh, one here we have the clip here and this is the belt swivel and and my personal preference for these I like the clip I like the belt clip. Easy to put it on your pocket, on the side of a bag, all that stuff. This is restricted to obviously threading something through it, but there also is this clip available you can buy to attach to that. So, you know, in all honesty, I'd rather have this sort of setup on here where you can switch that. And just as you can see side by side, how much of the handle is actually sort of more encompassed with the Bushcraft Black sheath. So for sheath purposes, I'm going to give it to the Bushcraft Black for sure. It covers it more, it keeps the knife protected, has a better chance of keeping its friction you know, in the sheath long term. This heavy duty companion, it, it still snaps in, but it's really loose and it totally takes any pressure now to pull this out. And I don't know if I've, I haven't seen too many you know, other people complain about the sheaths doing this. I don't know if it's a, you know isolated incident or whatnot. But for the sheaths, I really like the Bushcraft Black. Moving on next to uh, the overall length. These are dang near the same. I'll get them up side by side in a second. <clears throat> I think this is right around nine inches, the Bushcraft Black, and this is just a little bit under, under that. So overall length, pretty much the same. You know, it's kind of a wash. You're, you know, for the sake of, of length, you're really not going to be doing too much, you know, you're not going to be able to perform, you know, so much more tasks with the black because it's a little bit longer as opposed to the heavy duty. So, you know, the, the, the length is pretty comparable, pretty much a wash, wash with that. Let me get on the ground to get myself comfortable. Blade length for the Bushcraft Black, 4.3 inches as opposed to, I think this is 4.1 for the Heavy Duty Companion. So again, the blade length pretty comparable. It's not like you can be able to baton through such larger pieces of wood. As you can see though, the width of the blades are what's different. This is definitely uh, the Heavy Duty Companion under here. Looks more like the, you know, the sort of the more knives we're used to in the States of seeing the blade design. Really nice for carving, just a little bit thicker here with the black. A little heavy, heavy dutier. You know, for the blade, Blade length again, not too much difference, but there are a few differences in the <clears throat> in the blade that I'll talk to in a second. Uh, you know that I'll give one or the other a better sort of better score. Now let's just start. They're both carbon steel blades. They're both carbon, uh, and like I mentioned about this being wider, both have the Scandi grind, and actually 
think there is a small there is a small uh, secondary bevel on this. I don't know if it's intentional or not in manufacturing, but I, I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up. Probably not. It's very small, maybe in, at most the width of a millimeter. But coming down from the very primary bevel of the Scandi, there's a small one that looks, I can see a small one with my eye. The black has it, the heavy duty companion doesn't. Um, but this, but the black has this DLC coating, the diamond like, uh, diamond like coating, I guess it's redundant to say DLC coating. But it has this diamond like coating on it, which is to help, you know, against abrasion, help protect the blade longer and all that good stuff. So it has this black tint, looks cooler. And also with the blade, since I'm on that, these, this can throw sparks. The black can throw sparks, the, the heavy duty companion cannot. Just to show it real quick. You know, as a survival knife, it's really nice to ha have that ability on the spine of your knife. Instead of carrying, I mean, obviously I have this attached. Dinner bell. I have this attached, but if you didn't, you lost it, you're still able to throw sparks uh, with the bushcraft black. You can't do it with this. So honestly, in blades, I'm gonna give it to the black. I don't think you can really, you know, do less carving with this, less small, you know, woodwork, because there's a wider blade as opposed to this. I think, you know, pretty much, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to the black for that. Moving on to where we get black. Um, blade thickness, they're both the same. That's sort of why people have been asking me uh, which one I prefer because as more as go, the 3.2 millimeter blade thickness is, is, is the widest they're going to get. And that's why people really like, that's why I'm doing this and people will sort of compare these knives to each other just because of the thickness, 3.2 millimeters. So again, the same, that's, that's pretty much why I'm doing the video, the blade thickness, people are really interested in the thicker blades for the mores. And the handle is rubber, they're both rubberized handle. And that's just going to come down to preference. I'll just do a small cut and try to give you my quick impression of you know if one feels more you know comfortable for me. I just love cutting these scanty grinds. <laughs> I love cutting wood with these scanty grinds as opposed to a full flat grind. Just not as fun to cut wood. You know, and honestly, as I'm just doing this right now, thinking off the top of my head, this this um the bushcraft black handle will probably be nicer if you have larger hands. I don't think this heavy duty companion is too small if you have larger hands, but I can, this is just a, it's a bigger handle and it feels just a little bit thicker in my hands, let's say about medium sized hands, which I've always said in videos. Uh, that's going to come down to personal preference. I like this one, just a little bit more of this belly swoop to it on the companion. The heavy duty companion feels a little bit nicer, but you can see the different design, that's kind of preference. You can't go wrong with either one in my opinion with the handles. Let me see what else I got on the list to go down real quick. Uh, weight, 5.7 for the heavy or for the bushcraft black, 5.7 ounces, and it's nearly two. <laughs> excuse me, nearly two ounces lighter for the <clears throat> heavy duty companion as opposed to the black bushcraft black. So weight, you know, like I said, you're really not going to be doing too much, too many different tasks using all of these, you know. But for, this, for, for where the weight, you can feel it. This is a much heavier knife. It feels heavier and it feels just balanced more. With the handle and the bigger blade, it feels like the, the weight is distributed as a more like you expect from a, big, a bigger fixed blade, a weight distribution as opposed to just most more as we're used to seeing in the States and people talk about a lot, do videos on these smaller, you know, quote, cheaper, cheaper mores. Um, you know, just have a little bit of a, a lighter feel, you know, more for fine woodworking. You, don't really need a lot of weight if you're carving, which you know, a lot of these knives are meant for. All the mores. Three quarter tang, both of them three quarter tang. I've already talked about how the black can throw sparks and the heavy duty companion cannot. So something else to think about. That's pretty much the ins and outs. That's pretty much the ins and outs of the knives. So, you know, do I think the black is $20 or, you know, $20, you know, worth it more twice as you know good as the heavy duty companion no way not twice as good they're different knives you know if you want to quote survival knife if you're in this whole survival game that's what you're really interested in you really don't care much about woodworking as much you want a survival knife obviously you want to get a full tang that's probably going to have a full flat grind or a modified scandy you know these knives aren't to quote survival knives. This bushcraft black, yeah, you can have it in the bush with you. You can do a lot with it. You know, you can baton some wood. You can throw sparks with it. It's got a really sharp edge. It's comfortable. You can use it for extended periods of time, probably without getting hot spots. All that good stuff. But these really aren't survival knives. 
And, you know, it, it sort of surprises me how much that people w will knock on a knife for its, quote, you know, it's not survivability or whatever you want to say, because these knives aren't intended to, you know, to try to go to the 12-inch diameter tree and hit it with a, hit it with a, bat a baton for hours, you know, which you can do with certain fixed blades with high-quality alloy. These aren't meant for that. They're meant for wood carving. They're meant for, you know, doing small tasks and, and whittling and all that good stuff. Good stuff that I really like to do and enjoy in the woods. And since I'm on the topic about survival, survival isn't fun. Survi surviving isn't fun. Being out in the bush with a knife and trying to last a week, you're not going to have fun. Uh, you know, so I don't try to focus so much on, on survival as opposed to I just enjoy connecting with my past, doing woodworking, getting out and doing experimental archaeology with different tools. All that good stuff that I like to do and I enjoy passing my time. Uh, you know, to me, sitting out in the woods for a week with a knife, yeah, it would be fun. It would, it, would, it would test yourself. You'd learn a lot. But for coming out for the day and all that good stuff, I'd much rather have a cool, you know, scandy grind if I'm going to play around, maybe carve a bowl or, or a bush pipe and all that good stuff. A flat grind on a survival knife is not going to be fun to do that with as opposed to these smaller blades, really sharp scandy grinds. Something to keep in mind, the purpose you want to use the tool for. Specifically, your purpose. Not what anyone else says is, is good for it. All that good stuff. Specifically, what you want to do with it. So please, if you have any questions that I didn't ask, you know, I didn't maybe cover something as in-depth as, as you'd like to see, you know, ask again. But they're both going to be good knives. They're both going to be good knives. If you just want, you know, a little bit of a thicker, uh, you know, quote, carving knife for 20 bucks, this is going to be a sweet knife. You're not going to be disappointed for spending 20 bucks. If you're on a really tight budget and you want something a little bit, you know, beefier to play with, a little well-balanced well knife, you know, 40 bucks for this is still a, not a bad deal. It's still a good buy, and you're going to get a quality knife, and you can do a lot with it. But again, it's they're not fixed blades. I just want to reiterate that they're not primarily, you know, I mean, they're fixed blades, not full tangs. Excuse me, they are fixed blades, but they're not full tangs. So the strength of them, you know, it's going to be different as a, you know, three quarter tang as opposed to a, a full tang. I hope this video hope, uh, helped. I hope I answered some of your questions. If I didn't, or you still want to know more about my impressions or some specs on the knives, you know, leave comments, ask. I know there's a lot of people who are watching the channel and have a lot of knowledge too that can chime in on these uh, debates or, you know, preference sort of battles, whatnot. This is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.